You batch of stickers. Mm, nice. New bumper stickers. Well, it has been just over a year now since we got the California. Just over a year, that's flown by. And uh, it's got me thinking. We paid £48,990.49 for the California. And I keep wondering, what else could you buy for that price? You could get yourself a Porsche. You can get a lot of Big Mac meals. Good morning, can I take over please? Yeah, could I have 9,800 Big Mac meals, please? Sorry? You could get yourself a luxury yacht. No, no, you can't, Sean. What? You can't buy that. 50 grand? Yeah, no, you can't buy that. It's more like... More like that, I'm afraid. Yeah, alright then. Or probably most relevant, you could buy one of these. So this is the brand new 2018 Bailey Advance. So you'll see this one is the 76. Now the 70 means it's seven meters long. Uh, they go right up to 79. So yeah, there is almost an eight meter long van available. And the six means that it's got six travel seats and that, that's belted travel seats. Now Bailey actually crash test their uh, travel seats. So yeah, you know, you you're very safe in those seats, which is not all manufacturers do that. So yeah, so that's worth noting, definitely. Now we've been really, really lucky to be lent this by Bailey for a couple of nights just to try out and show you guys what it's all about. Um, but yeah, like I say, this is the same price as what we paid for for our California. A lot bigger, which is quite obvious. But yeah, let's take a look around. So as you can see, the Bailey Advance is based on a Peugeot chassis. Um, as far as vans go, it's one of the better looking vans, I think. They have quite sleek lights. As you can see, we've got the Advance, brand new for 2018 style decals on the side. Um, you've got an awning light across the top. This one in particular, the 76, has an end lounge, which is why you've got nice big windows all around the back. Three of them, which is great for Britain, where we have lots of rain. Unlike today, but usually we have lots of rain. So you can sit inside and uh, just take in the view, which is nice. Gas locker in there holds two big Cala gas bottles. Um, yeah, you have a TV point. What's interesting is none of these things are optional extras. This is all, there's only one package you can buy. So you, you get everything that you see here with the, uh, the Bailey Advance, and that's with all of them in the range. He should be doing this tour, really, shouldn't he? You can see the outlet here for the Truma blown air central heating, which is nice. You have your place here for uh, your cassette toilet, and because it's an electric flush, you can um, you fill up your flush water in there. Uh, position for your plug socket. And yeah, the rest of it is pretty much the same as the other side, fully enough. This motel is so new, it's even got the plastic still on the table. Oh, this is satisfying. You're not sure, are you, Bentley? Here at um, Old Oaks, they do takeaway night, and it's Indian night. Mm -mm -mm. I realise we're not using the cooking equipment yet, but it's Indian night. So we're 
we're going to have a first look at the brand spanking new Bailey Advance and this is the inside of the 70-6 which means there's six seats so I'm sat in one of them and that's six seat belted seats I'm sat in one of them there's another one obviously for the driver there's another two here and then there's another two across from that so let's take a look around um, to my right we've got the great kitchen area now one thing that I often hear is uh, there's a lack of um, surface area in a kitchen um, that you can use for cooking. Now not only can you put the table here, but there's also a smart little table that pops up here. And it gives you absolutely tons of space. There's even a draining board that pops off. You can put that to one side. You're going to see all our wacky dishes now. <laughs> But I think this is quite clever as well, the fact that you've got a chopping board on top of the sink, that gives you even more space, so I like that a lot. Now it's a three hob burner, and I really like the fact that they're really well spaced, so you actually have plenty of space to put three pans. So we got both the Ridge Monkeys on these earlier, um, and obviously there's massive space here, this is a lot bigger one for a big pan. And I like how they haven't tried to cram absolutely tons of these in here. It's much better this way, and they're nicely spaced, so you can actually use all three at the same time. Now you've also got something we don't have in the Cali, an oven, which is rather exciting. So this is a gas oven and grill, which is really, really handy. One thing that I think is really important for a bigger van uh, is certainly, especially if you're thinking of having six people on board, is having a really good sized fridge. So this is ours. <laughs> Excuse the plastic still on it, it really is that brand new. They gave us an absolutely brand new motorhome to try out, which is really funny. And we just didn't bother taking the plastic off yet. But as you can see, you've got tons of space to put stuff in the door, plus another tray for your cheeses. Cheese is life. Then there's plenty of space and there's even another drawer at the bottom. But most importantly, something we don't have in the van is a freezer. So think of all the ice that you can have for your G&T. Amazing. Now there's really tons of storage in this kitchen and they're great units. I really like the white and the um, wood effect. It looks really smart. And these are huge cupboards. Um, and they're really positive catches. So they really hold on tight, which is brilliant. And you can see the other side, we've got barely anything in that. But you'd be able to put your cereal boxes in there. And this one's got a really good sized microwave that comes with it and there really are no options that you can add to this vehicle. Everything that you see here actually comes with it, which is really impressive for the price. So this is a great little diner area that's across from the kitchen, so it's a really nice sociable space. You can then add the table in to the middle here, and again it then turns into a diner. It's for four seats, or one Bentley and two adults. Uh, you've also got the option of putting the table to the rails along the bottom here, which will actually make this into a bed and it's six foot long which is really big and then three foot four wide so you could probably fit two adults here or quite comfortably two kids now above this is another bed it's crazy this is a very exciting bed because it comes down electronically and there's a key up here that you have to turn to the side i think it's already in position Bentley's not going to like this, the bed's going to come down on top of him, but you're all right, Bentley. You want to get out of the way? Look at that! Now you absolutely have to use a ladder to get up into this bed, unless you're really good at pole vaulting, but the ladder is very cleverly hidden inside this door here. So it's securely in place. Lift it up. It's a really lightweight ladder, but very sturdy, and it just clips into these bits here, and then you can climb up into it. Oh, now that is a comfy bed. So the bed is 5 foot 11 long by 4 foot wide, so it's slightly wider than the one downstairs, however it's not quite as long, but it's still pretty long, so again, two kids pretty comfortably or two adults and whilst we're up here it's worth noting there's an amazing skylight just there that you really benefit from when you're in this bed so along with this skylight at the front there's another three skylights in the roof 
making it really really light and cozy in here. Now the three smaller skylights, this one is the biggest and uh, as you can tell it puts a lot of light into this which is by far our favourite part of this fan. The reason this is our favourite is we really like end lounges in motorhomes. I think they create a really nice space especially with three windows so you have three different aspects to this area. It is so nice, light and airy. Now there's two long seats on either side and they're easily long enough for both Sean and I to stretch out. If you want Bentley to stretch out as well though you do end up quite cramped because he is huge but you can't help that. Um, the windows are massive I think and all of them open. All of them have three different sorts of blinds so you've got one blackout blind then at the back you've got a mosquito net and finally you've got curtains I really like these curtains they're quite a nice like duck egg blue so they really suit the room but it's a nice sort of complementary colour to it and it'd be very easy to get sort of cushions and things that match that sort of colour scheme are you alright there Bentley? as usual he's trying to steal the show aren't you? but you like it so as you can tell he's taking up quite a lot of space on here however it does show how big it is it is a large space as ever perfect timing the rain has now started but it shows how useful a space like this is in a motorhome the fact that we can just sit and chill out we've got really great views out the windows we're lovely and cozy and warm inside we can hear the rain it's just one of those perfect areas i really really like it now as far as putting a tv somewhere there's this great little space here so you can put a tv or you could mount it to this wall and the reason why you could put it here is there's two sockets that are perfect for that plus a 12 volt and a tv aerial so they've really got you covered there. There's also another bit of storage space down here. Now all the units are much the same, but there's plenty of storage in all of them. Um, this one's got all my clothes in, so I apologize in advance for the mess that's in there. But as you can see, there's plenty of room. And again, there's three of them. So plenty of room for everything. Now, just like the kitchen, this uh, room has got ambient lighting too, all around the top of the cupboards. There's a switch here that turns them on. And again, it's a nice little feature that. We all know how much I like my lighting, so of course I would like that one. And um, they've also got lots of little reading lights and spotlights. And they are dimmable, which is impressive. And also a couple of these that are near these little bits here that they've put in that you can put your phone on they've got USB ports on these lights which I think is a really good idea now this can also be used as a dining area which actually is our preference because there's quite a lot more space here and I think you could easily fit six adults around here it's huge but there's a table that can fit into here the table comes to about here and then you also get an extension um, which can be added on and that is it goes to about here so you could easily have enough space for six adults to eat around a table here very sociable space the ladder is stored in this cupboard plus it's the table that fits in both the dinette in the front and the back and the extension that fits on the back table right i'm going to show you the front of the van then so it comes with a six speed manual gearbox it's a peugeot boxer base van uh, it's a 130 horsepower engine and it's a Euro 6 engine as well. So it comes with, um, you've got various different things like you've got a USB point in there. You've also got a 12 volt socket as well. Cup holders. Um, yeah, there is no automatic available, unfortunately, but um, yeah, the six speed is plenty of, uh, is really efficient. Um, so yeah, that's good. You've got cruise control as well included and you've also got air conditioning. It also comes in the cabin with integrated blinds, which are really quite cool, actually. Okay, so if I show you here, they pull all the way across and then they meet in the middle and connect together. Uh, so that gives plenty of privacy in the front there. And they let it clip back in. And then um, if I can show you over here, can you see that there? You also have them in the side as well. And they work really well. Again, they clip in. 
nicely in there as well for privacy. Now this is fitted with Truma blown air central heating. We've never used this system before, this is totally new to us. And the way it works is it feeds um, hot air via the boiler through three different outlets in the van. So there's one at the back, one in the middle here, and one... Oh, there's, there's four. <laughs> there's four. <laughs> so two in the front bit here, one in the middle, and one at the back. There's four. And you can alter the temperature all from this system just by turning that up and down. And you can also choose whether you want it to be powered off electric or gas or a mixture of both. And then above the door, we've got another control panel. And this is basically like the, it just um, shows you exactly how much water is um, in the freshwater tank, how much water is in the wastewater tank. And also uh, you can control like the main uh, switch for all your lights. There's a switch for your awning light outside and you can also turn the water pump on and off. It also shows you the voltage of your leisure battery as well. So in the middle is the washroom. It's quite cool how it curves as well to give um, yeah a nice sort of flow into the into the lounge. But um, yeah, inside it's um, good size and it's got um, a toilet and a shower as well and a sink. So yeah, take a look inside there. So you've got a cassette toilet with an electric flush, uh, which is just a button on the top there. To the left of that is the sink, which is great for brushing your teeth. Uh, plenty of hot water as well, which is great. And then you've got a, um, a cabinet above to store your toiletries. And then, yeah, a shower on the left. And there's also a vent on the top uh, just to get rid of that steam when you have a hot shower. And you tried it earlier, didn't I you? tried it earlier. Um, yeah, we had a quick look as well. And I obviously, the first time you use a shower, you're unsure exactly how hot it's going to be so you wasted a bit of time at the start there getting the temperature right um, and I wasn't really that careful I just left the the water on all the time and we looked and we used 17 percent of the fresh water tank um, it's a 95 litre tank so yeah I think you could very easily if I was a bit more careful I knew what temperature to have it at and um, you could easily use more like 12 or 13 percent um, which isn't bad really for to have a shower in your own van uh, saves if the weather's a bit rubbish it saves going all the way down to the um, facilities so yeah thumbs up from us since it's raining what do you reckon do you reckon we should go on a dog walk we're probably going to take real bentley though not fake bentley oh i can hear my alarm going off why is your alarm going off that means it's time to upload a video <laughs> <laughs> should probably do that yeah i better get that switched on yeah Stop filming me then. And then we'll go for <laughs> and then we'll go for a walk. I mean W A L K. It's not the dog that's beeping, it is my phone. top but it is pouring with rain I think both of us figure that um, we're wet through so we may as well have just kept on going so we've ended up at the tour soaking wet I still miss you so much but 
nighttime mode now this area in here and it's really simple so I'll show you this clever little shelf here you just pull there we go now you see these cushions here right back done really simple and there you go that is the bed all made up so that is five foot wide by six foot eleven long it's mahoosive. Brilliant size bed. Very happy. just had a shower in the van and uh, yeah I managed to wash my hair my uh, body which takes quite a long time uh, brush my teeth and everything and um, yeah I had a quick look at how much water we had in the fresh water tank and how much water afterwards and we used 12% of water which I don't think is too bad for a, a nice warm shower and it was plenty hot enough I, I had to turn it down a bit because it was too hot so yeah um, a great alternative to having to use the facilities it just means you can go absolutely anywhere now which is is brilliant we're just packing away I tell you what it's pretty handy having uh, loads of space so that we're not under each other's feet as we're trying to <laughs> trying to pack away but um, yeah it's uh, a bit sad to give it back really so is there anything you would change on the design of this um, one no, not necessarily, no. I, I think the only thing that we would benefit from with having a dog that just wants to spend all his time with you every second of the day is we'd quite like a, a timbre door here. You know, one that can just pull out, a bit like the blinds do, um, and just covers that so that when we're sleeping in here, he doesn't try and get through. But that's easily solvable because you can put, um, if it was my own, I'd probably put some hooks in here and have something that I can unfold and put in there because there's plenty of space between here that's obviously a personal preference thing What about you Lizzie? Is there anything that uh, you would change? Um, well aside from um, travelling this is a brilliant area for Bentley to travel in because it's got the seat belt hooks so we can actually plug him straight in and then he's got this massive area to travel on which is great for him um, but for us we didn't really use this area at all whilst we were here and that's that's not to say it's not a useful area I think just because it's only two of us we tended to use the end lounge the most um, and then the space for Bentley in the middle so for us this is a bit um, 
is not really useful for us. However, if you do have a family of four, this is brilliant because you've got this is a bed, that is a bed, and this is a great dining space, really sociable. So although it might not work for us, it would probably work for a lot of different people. And I can really see how they've they've managed to put so much in, in such a, a really good space and it still feels light and airy. So I'm really impressed with that. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying out the next one, um, which is more sort of towards uh, a couple traveling as opposed to a family traveling. So that's gonna be really exciting. And I think that's the 74 too. So that's gonna be really exciting to see. Right, just before we go, we're going to try out the camper clean. Um, yeah, which is, uh, we don't really know what we're doing, but let's follow the instructions. Let's put two quid in. Put two pound in. Number two, select cassette type. Looks like that one to me. Press start. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Whoa! Dun, dun, dun. And then number four is rotate that and then put it in. You don't have to take the thing. Oh, it must know. Surely you have to take the thing. Doesn't say to. It's got it on there, hasn't it? So. Oh. And press start. The green light is on. See you later. Bye, toilet. <laughs> well, and then we just wait and see. This is a bit exciting. It goes in with poo comes out <laughs> bio clean <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. is it still there <laughs> you excited Sean I want how are we gonna know I don't know yeah Done. Pretty good. Not bad for two quid. That's pretty clever, isn't it? At least we can give this back to Bailey super thin as well. Not full of our wheeze. Yeah. <laughs> Done. So we are back. We've just arrived back at Bailey uh, in Bristol to drop off the advance. And uh, yeah, it's a bit sad, really. But, um, yeah. It's been great, hasn't it? It's been yeah, a really interesting experience trying out something completely new. It yeah. is massive compared to the California, I'm not going to lie. But for the same price, that's quite incredible, really. So yeah, definitely. Something yeah. to look at anyway, if, especially if you've got a family. I think something like this would be brilliant. Also, it's interesting to note that every um, model in the advanced range is available to drive on any license. So, you um, like us, we would have to take another test to drive anything over three and a half tons but you don't have to um with any of the advanced range you can drive all of them they are all under three and a half tons which is pretty amazing to say how big this yeah. is um but yeah so great for um young families and uh yeah young people you know it's it's good for everyone it's yeah. really really good so um we're looking forward to trying out the one in june so definitely yeah. make sure you uh keep liking and subscribing to the channel uh we've got plenty more content to, on the way and uh more adventures as well so come yeah. with us and we'll yeah. see you very soon cheers thanks for watching bye, bye.